Hi there, Gemini, Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com, and this is your August 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading, of course. And in this month, I'm actually using a new deck. You know, it's something that I've been eyeing on for quite some time now. It's called the Tarot of Sexual Magic by a large one. And, um, how this card is, is it's actually very graphic because it depicts a lot of romantic scenes and mostly a lot of erotic and very much graphic um, scenes so it, it might be hard to read it in the way how you usually read a normal tarot deck like what I have over here so um, I'm going to be doing this reading based upon how it should be read through the lens of relationships and sexual you know energies and all of that so it might be different you know i could be reading um, uh, <laughs> one card which means um which means all about negative and it might mean um, something entirely different when it comes to this deck so that's how it will it will go so if you do stay with me throughout the video you'll probably get what i am talking about so um yeah without any further ado let's just dive deep into this reading and let's see what's going on with you guys in terms of your love life and relationships before anything else though i just want to remind you all that this is still a general reading it may or may not tune in to the rest and each and every gemini's out there and again this might reflect to those that are in their gemini sun moon or rising sign either of those so um yeah let's see now uh we our first card for gemini's let's see what you have this is the eight of cups and this is very this is what i say about how different it actually is where is my camera okay so you see this is the eight of cups and you will see that you know there are roses over there and then there is a man and a woman um you know maybe wanting to dance and all of that which is very much different with how a usual um eight of cups is all about in a normal deck because in a normal deck i think <laughs> i just won't search it on the, the normal deck it might influence the energy but um the normal deck actually has you know a man defeated and you know feeling feeling down and all of that and getting lost with with in a place of nowhere that kind of energy but um with this um it's not as if it means entirely different there is a form of similarity it actually is telling us about something that you want to achieve but you cannot get so it has that advice card wherein it tells us that if there is something that you you, you cannot achieve it's not as if that you cannot achieve it. it maybe you're not trying hard or you're not making the right approach you know that kind of energy so in here we we can say that you know this eight of cups is telling us about there are just a few things that maybe it's not happening in the way that you want it to be you know maybe you want for things to move forward in a particular relationship but the other person is saying no <laughs> it has that form of energy it is being crossed over by the night night of wands which is all about embracing you know so it could be that you know you are wanting to have a form of union a form of passionate connection with a particular person or with your relationship but maybe it's going nowhere and um i would say that there is a huge possibility that it's going nowhere because in the past we do have this two of pentacles yes <laughs> I'm finally getting used to this deck. Um, Two of Pentacles, which is all about um, uneasiness. Um, in this deck, this is what it means. It's 
uneasiness of of the unknown like you don't know what's gonna happen you don't know what's you know what your future is gonna be or you don't know who is behind you you know who is sneaking behind you just like the one in this photo so you know there's an element here where in there are just a lot of things that you don't know but at the same time you know your goal you know what you want that is actually you know the strongest energy here you know what you want because you do have here the magician card at at the uh, foundation of this deck which is all about your intention the things that you know you want to maybe manipulate the things that you want to attract your own intention of what you want to manifest into reality and all of that thing but um you know and also we have here the full card which is all about surrender this is what it means in um in the deck of the tarot sexual magic it's all about you know setting yourself free and not feeling binded by the restrictions that you have at this time so how this can be um, explained in a general reading is that um, either this is actually forcing you to make an effort on something because there is a, a tendency here that maybe you're thinking of quitting something you're ending thinking of ending something you know because not it's basically a relationship that is supposed to be a relationship but it does not act like a relationship it feels as if it, it, it feels as if you're single even though in a relation you're you are in a relationship so um there are a lot of questions residing in your mind on should i even still be in this relationship what is the point of this relationship so there are a lot of things going on like that and we have the future position here which is the seven of swords actually and you can see here the man and the woman are turned away from each other that kind of energy and this is a card of perseverance you know this is not the card this is basically a situation wherein it's telling you that nothing is happening now because there are no opportunities yet the the seeds of life is not open you know not everything is out in the open there are a lot of things that you need to reconsider there are still things that you need to to check and maybe you know with the with the situation that we live in with the coronavirus and all of that it is affecting quite a lot of people around the world basically and you know just because it's love and relationships does not mean that you know you are excused to to the effects of the coronavirus because you know this can create a lot of problems especially you know if you are in a long distance relationship for example you know being restricted to travel to one country to another can create strains in a relationship and all at the same time even if you are not in a long distance relationship you know just dating someone finding someone on tinder or any um, online dating app or whatever just to seeing someone you know there are a lot of social blockages that is preventing a lot of you know relationship to actually blossom you know of course not everyone is, is experiencing this but maybe quite a few of you especially for you guys gemini who are um watching this video and you know having some form of relationship and love problems could be experiencing experiencing the situation so it's basically telling us that you know this is not the time for you to to actually give up or or to drop someone or something like that it's just basically that things can be hard right now or in nothing is actually you know happening in the way that you want things to be so basically it's at asking for you to not be so hasty because maybe um you know there is a need for acceptance that you know things are not um as progressive at this time even though you are seeking for some stimulation and passionate connection and all of those kind of things 
so um yeah again we also we have here the nine of mm. pentacles yeah and this is also uh, you know a very stable energy wherein you know you are being grounded and you know uh, not really entirely doing anything and just going in with the flow of life so there is a lot of energy here that gives a lot of stopping element into a relationship so even though that you know generally i would say that august is actually a very fiery and progressive month and it is um you will see a lot of happenings with your life it's just that you know the happenings that you might encounter might not happen in the way that you want for things to be and especially with the other situation card with the being the emperor card which is all about you know empowerment and the other person this is uh it could be that you know the emperor is not the type of person that will act just because you want them to act they take their time and security and safety is going to be their priority all those kinds of things so maybe you are wanting for the other person to do something for you and they're saying no or maybe next time or not really paying attention to you just like how this is you know they are all turning away from each other but it doesn't mean that you know they don't love each other or anything like that it's just that you know maybe there is a lack of you know there is something in the situation right now is not being favorable for for a very passionate um, connection or it could be that you are approaching things differently just like what i said earlier overall though your intentions is to be to bond and to have you know a really wonderful union a harmonious atmosphere in the relationship which is the ace of of cups and at the end of this reading we also have here the nine of wands which is very interesting nine of wands is all nine of wands is actually a card of um you know waiting and uh, another card of waiting right but in this deck actually this is actually giving us an advice to make an effort you know if the relationship is not working out this is not really the time for you to just drop it and call it quits this could be the time we're in maybe you need to smoothen things over maybe you're not approaching this in a in a good way it's like you know um in a in a very sexual um topic you know when when you are caressing someone or you, when you are being caressed by your partner um there are there are certain key points that makes it feel good and sometimes it does not feel good so it it has a form of similarity to that you know is your action of caressing your partner um making them feel good or not or are you just demanding what you want and not really paying attention to what is happening to them so this is like giving you a, a, a message that you need to make the effort to make the relationship work if something is not not working out maybe maybe the situation itself is just being bashful to you maybe they are saying they're not in the mood for anything sexy or anything like that but maybe they secretly want to it's just that you know you just need to give it a little bit push and you just you cannot just stand still and demand something because this is what i'm actually getting here in like the actions that you're taking is like you're not actually doing something for the other person but you are saying something you are saying something d you are demanding something but you're not actually doing anything you know um that can make the other person feel good feel wanted and feel loved and this is actually going to be the key here in making you know your love and relationship blossom 
is to do things in a very gentle way, in a way that the other person will also feel good all at the same time. You know, not just all about you, but focus on them as well. Again, um, yeah, we can say that you know, there's a lot of this is going to be happening in your emotional atmosphere. What is happening to you in a very psychological level? I feel because um, we have here. Um, uh, the south node in Taurus in the fourth house and if I try I always do this I always you know incorporate the astro dice to what is happening in the astrology of the world at this present moment and we have Taurus in the sign of um, uh, sorry <laughs> Uranus in the sign of Taurus and yeah so there's you know there's could be you know shock and an easy factor happening in your fourth house which is all about your home life but basically i always link the fourth house to what is happening to you on an emotional level because that is actually what your comfort zone really is like so um yeah there is going to be a lot of you know an easy factor that might surround the energy for out the month of august for you but this is, you know, the key here and the advice that I, I can say is that to approach things differently and to not, you know, it's not all about demand. It's not, you know, you need to also reflect on yourself, whether you're doing something for the other person, what actions are you contributing into the relationship? Or is there anything you're even doing? You know, it's not about, you know, just complaining that he is being cold to me. Have you even tried to to cross over and maybe to try to act sweet or anything like that, you know? Or were you simply just waiting? For them to take the action itself because from this reading what I'm getting here is that you need to also make the effort if you want for things to blossom it's like you know if you are you know trying to revive a dead relationship you, you need to give some form of energy into that it's not going to re resolve itself just by waiting it's not going to resolve itself just because it's fated you know you need to give you know so you need to feed it <laughs> some form of loving energy and all those kinds of things so it has a form of similar you know similar energy and how it works basically so um yeah um progress and improvement in terms of relationship can be seen especially if the if this is something that over has already been happening to you for maybe the past few months or so and this is could be a breaking point for you this time around then you know the key here to resolve that relationship and to save the relationship might be the already the big message that i have been saying and repeating all 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 this minutes long throughout this video you know is to try to make the effort to to work on the relationship basically so um yeah um thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me i do hope that you enjoy this kind of different kind of reading using the tarot of sexual magic if you do like this type of thing maybe i'll try to continue that onward to the next following months i don't know so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me if you do want to have a uh, reading specifically for your own situation because this is just a general re general reading um you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by and i'll see you guys again next month bye